Hello, I am Dr. Sandeep Upadhyay, Professor, Senior Consultant, Rheumatology Immunology at Indraprasth Apollo Hospitals, New Delhi. There are several myths about arthritis and its treatments. We will try to bust some of these in the next few minutes. All joint pain is arthritis. Very often, even treating doctors assume that patient complains of pain in the joint that must be related to a serious ailment or is certainly arthritis. That is not true. The arthritis is defined by presence of a swelling, discomfort of the joint and, and a, a joint swelling and pain that lasts for several hours or days. Rain and damp feather worsens arthritis. Now, if you were to believe the patient, it does. But this is not true. The patient believes that whatever aggravates symptoms of arthritis also worsens the arthritis. So technically, the patient is in his or her right in complaining to the patient that when the weather changes, when there is damp weather, these joints start to play up and there is more stiffness. But the fact that none of these environmental factors can have a direct bearing on the joint or the inside of the joint makes this a myth. There is a statement, take it easy with exercise if your arthritis is playing up. This is both a yes and a no and is I believe a part myth that you should not exercise if you have arthritis. Only if your arthritis is uncontrolled and there is inflammation of the part of the joint that you want to exercise or the part of the limb that you want to exercise is swollen, then you may be well in your right not to exercise. But the fact that exercise is contraindicated in arthritis or is not the right thing to do in arthritis is, is a myth. There is a statement, rum soaked grapefruit, raisins, brinjals, nightshade plants are good for curing arthritis. Now this certainly is a big myth. As of now, there are no cures for arthritis. There are very good treatments and certainly medicines work for patients with arthritis. Onset of arthritis is related to immune dysfunction and no form of food, especially rum soaked or otherwise, will have an effect on the immune system or the delicate interplay between cytokines the, the joint and the inflammation in the arthritis. Ice is less helpful for sore joints as compared to heat. So this is a myth. In fact, it's the other way around. Ice by reducing inflammation is better than heat when it comes to taking care of swollen joints or reducing symptoms of swollen joints. How is that? I'll try to explain. If there is a warm and swollen red hot area, and you put more heat on that area, you are likely to increase the heat and increase the swelling. So with that simple explanation, I hope that gets across to, to my listeners. Supplements like glucosamine benefit everyone with arthritis. Is that right? No, that's not true. And the reason why this is not true is glucosamine is a nutraceutical, is supposed to increase cartilage structure and strength and has been purported to be helpful in early osteoarthritis or degenerative arthritis only, not for inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis. Only older adults develop arthritis. So there can be nothing more incorrect than this statement on arthritis. Most inflammatory arthritis and the arthritis that is treatable happens in the younger ages or at most in the middle ages. The arthritis of the immunity and treatable arthritis, the arthritis that should be treated by rheumatologists, immunologists alone, is the one that affects young people, even children many of times. Arthritis is not preventable. So this statement is partly true. So it may seem a little odd coming from a rheumatologist immunologist, putting in a word of pessimism that you can't escape arthritis. So in, in one way, uh, 
the factors that add up, genetic environmental factors, uh, are enough to bring on arthritis in either a young individual or a middle-aged female, then there is a full chance that this may happen. But early and proper treatment can sometimes get rid of the arthritis for a long duration. And there are times when there are many cures that last a couple of years, three years, if you treat arthritis early. Yoga is beneficial for all types of arthritis. That's a very wide blanket statement. And the obvious answer is no, this is incorrect. Yoga is beneficial only to a set of younger patients who can do those asanas and benefit from those uh, with regard to uh, joint mobility, muscle strengthening and, and the like. But for the other large majority of patients who have significant musculoskeletal disease, uh, yoga is, is uh, at least not recommended as a blanket therapy. Professional physiotherapy is, is what is uh, to be uh, resorted to. Steroids are the only treatment for arthritis in modern medicine. Now how absurd can this statement be? This is obviously a myth. There are more arthritis treatments available for a number of arthritis medicines than there ever have been for any given uh, disease, chronic disease. So to conclude, uh, we busted quite a few myths uh, surrounding the arthritis uh, disease and its management. If you are afflicted with joint symptoms, swellings and the problems of morning stiffness, it's best to consult a rheumatologist, immunologist or a healthcare provider that's closest to you and rely on his or her uh, diagnosis or evaluation rather than rely on common myths that abound in the uh, social media, on the YouTube or on the Facebook. It's very important for you to have a dialogue with the uh, healthcare provider. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. Namaste.